Yes, welcome back to Javon Rule 16. I am your host, Javon, and today we have a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing out Fist Forged and Shadow Torch for the PC. Today we're running this on my Intel Core i7-6660U with the Intel Iris 540 integrated graphics. We're going to be 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM in dual channel memory mode, and boy! This video has been six months in the making of me trying to get this game playable on my Iris 540. When this first came out, I tried extensively. It did not work. Um, I actually have to change it around. So we're, with the help of DXVK, once again, we're using the Vulcan backend to make this game actually play. It's not even about it being a performance boost. I simply can't play the game on the Iris 540 without the Vulcan backend, which is awesome because it made it playable made the game even run which is awesome but here we are and the game is running at 60 fps right off the bat we are using 720p on the lowest preset not really i actually had to go into the config file because it's an unreal engine 4 game and i'm at running at 50 percent of 720p 360p basically and yeah the game runs now as i said before in my previous videos a vulcan the vulcan dxvk has a bit of a you know it has some it, cons as well as the pros that it does boost performance yes you do get better performance but you do also have to pay for a bit of higher ram and it has compiling shaders now so just like my emulation videos where the game compiles that like you'll see right here it will stutter now you guys don't have to worry about that because I'll actually leave a link in the description below for my config file for this game. It will actually come with the cache for this game so you guys won't have to worry about the compiling shaders either. But with us we have to deal with it. I'll have to deal with it right here but I wanted to be full, transp full, tra full transparency here with how this one works. As you can see we're going to have issues because every strike is a compiling of a shader because it's new the strike is new it's never been done before all this all of this all of this is new it's never been done see never been done so it has to be shown here the game works is all i care about like i said without this the game you can't even play the game on this system and i heard a lot of people also had issues with trying to run the game and it would crash right at the bat well hey you can play the game now if you just take my config file. You have this, you can run this game. Yes, you may have to run into some compiling shaders, but this will not be throughout the whole game. It will get better. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content, guys. If you enjoy seeing Vulcan, my Vulcan backend videos where I show you guys how to get games running a bit better, with a bit more performance on them, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below again. Let's like see me test next on this. Do you have something specific in mind you'd like to see the difference? Would you like to, would you like guys like to see going far? Would you guys like to see the difference between Vulcan and DirectX 11 on games that actually work on both? If you do, leave a comment down below and I'll start doing it. I'll do a, I'll do the video where I show you direct AC 11 first. Then I switch to Vulcan. That'd be interesting, but I probably wouldn't do that for like games that I could, I'm, I'm struggling to run at 30. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. It's not every day I, I talk on my Iris 540. I don't talk here because this laptop only has two slots. So I don't really talk. I don't really talk on this laptop. But hey, I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the gameplay. Why? Why do we have to guard this broken, broken transformer? And why aren't we allowed to recharge? They say some dumbass bear hacked our system. All transformers in the city are now out of order. Didn't, didn't they catch that dumbass bear? If, if they stayed that way, I, I am going to run out of power. Then shut up. That'll save some power. Transformers, what did Urso get up to? An 
missing map data. Uh, looks like the tracking function is still offline. Right into Urso. Right into Urso. I need to get to Torch Tower right away. For those of you who are still in the video, I'm pretty sure that it's running like this because I don't have the extra RAM by the way. I'm pretty sure you need 16 gigs of RAM to do this. That could explain a lot about why this is stuttering so much, but I'll see you guys next time.